Okay, thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's nice to be with you again. Um, today, I was uh, looked at a uh, glance at the news, and uh, there is uh, a piece from uh, the business uh, uh, news where it says that the chief executive officers of the large companies, uh, they really are confused now. They don't know how to get their employees back to work. So for example, the large company like Price Waterhouse Cooper, which is an accounting firm. Anyone heard of it? Yes, okay. And they're a multinational uh, company, international company. Uh, the CEO, chief executive officer, basically decided that their 40,000 uh, people workforce uh, are allowed to work remotely. They don't have to come to the office at all. So they can work from anywhere. So for a matter of fact, if you like uh, sailing around the world, and as long as you have your internet connection, uh, you can be sailing and uh, making a salary as well. So I thought, wow, I should uh, remind all of you of that. Uh, you should uh, uh, take advantage of this, uh, this opportunity and only prize Waterhouse Cooper, but also large companies like uh, Google, uh, Facebook, uh, what is it, Microsoft, and those big companies, they can't, uh, they are delaying their workforce uh, coming back uh, to the office as well because they're afraid of the COVID-19. You force employees, they will quit because their employees do not wish to risk their lives uh, going to the office and get infected. Hmm. So you see, uh, I was intrigued by that because the best minds in the business world the uh, scientists, the medical professionals, they still can't figure out how to deal with COVID-19 here. Whereas you have, okay? If, I remind you, if you train yourself one hour a day, every day, and you attend our classes, okay? Like, for example, these classes, this class, in particular this class, for example, or you have other options as well. Uh, uh, there is uh, no way that the COVID-19 can harm you. At best, you have some sort of flu symptoms, but you recover from meditating every day and from attending this class. Okay, so in a very small way, you are contributing to your health and your families as well, because uh, if you're healthy, then you can also indirectly uh, help your family members, your friends uh, uh, fight the uh, virus as well, okay? So it's amazing to me how this uh, insignificant virus, uh, this is very weak virus, can manage to confuse the entire world. It wait until you have, a, you have a, the, a pandemic that's created by a much more serious uh, uh, virus, you're gonna have problems, serious problems, okay? So now is the time for all of us to train ourselves and meditate, okay? It's that simple, meditate every day. That's the solution for this COVID-19 here, okay? And get help once a week. That's the recipe, okay? I'm proud to tell you, those of you who have been doing this for the last two years, okay, uh, have, none of you have been hospitalized, none of you have died, okay? Uh, so, uh, and it costs nothing at all, okay? And I wish one of these uh, uh, wise businessmen, business leaders would uh, 
take a chance and work with us. We'll be glad to go and teach their companies, their employees meditation, and, and so that uh, they reduce the fears of death. Because typically, many newcomers who come to our temple, our places, they first wear masks, and after a while, they drop the mask. They, they feel that, they feel emboldened, they feel confident uh, that they are safe, okay? Right. So uh, I wish these companies uh, need to uh, think out of the box and uh, consider meditation only not only for safeguarding or promoting the health of their employees, but also increase their productivity. Okay? Uh, many of you, for example, I realize have been improving, have been sitting longer and longer, and this process here is tremendously beneficial for you. Uh, it makes you healthier. It makes it uh, makes you uh, slow down your aging process. Actually, if you improve, you will live longer. You will look younger. This is a fountain of youth, folks. Okay? So, uh, take advantage of it. Uh, it's uh, within your reach. Any of us can do it. Mm, it's not uncommon for you to see the Chan people, the Chan uh, teachers, Chan instructors. They, look, they should look younger and younger and younger. They should hardly age at all because that's a sign they're improving, they're doing the right things. You know, we can't help it. Our body ages, we get older, we get sick, and that's it. That's the nature of life. But if you practice Chan meditation, and the way we teach you, and you, with the purpose of improving yourself, uh, you will get healthier. Will, you will live longer. You will be wiser, and you uh, least, last but not least of all, look younger. Okay? I know many of you, you are vain, so, uh, so uh, I thought I might throw that at you. Okay? Uh, all right. Uh, any questions or comments? Uh, we have a question from, yes, from an email from Venerable Xianan. Uh, are they online? Ah, they are. Okay, I see them there on the screen. Okay, but they don't have a microphone. Okay, uh, this is come uh, in the future. Uh, leave out the names for people's privacy. Will you please? Huh? Do not quote names. I mean, don't you know? Uh, for the people's uh, out of respect for the privacy. Okay. Uh, Remove the names, please. Okay. All right. So there's a question from, uh, is it North Korea? No? <laughs> I, excuse me, I got confused. Yeah. Is that the one that doesn't have nuclear rockets? Or the one that has nuclear rockets? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. No. Okay, uh, this is uh, from, uh, oh no, I told you to remove the name, you can still keep the name there. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> is it okay? Okay, well. Ju uh, Yun uh, Lee is her name. First, I'm sorry for asking you this seemingly very irrelevant question. Hey, English is pretty good. Is this, has, have we modified her English, or is this the original? Oh. But I'm asking because this is about which spiritual teacher I should follow after I visited the Bundang Meditation Center and read your book. In fact, I have been looking for a spiritual teacher in a physical plane, and I'm very confused between this esoteric Christian spiritual teacher's teachings 
and the Chan teaching. Continue, please. Is it possible for you to ask Buddhas whether uh, this man named Beinsa Duono, Dono was a true teacher? I made a secret vow to publish his book into Korean by heart, but I didn't because I could not discern his authenticity. One very renowned Korean pastime reader told me it is my spiritual duty to publish his work and let him know among Koreans saying his spirit is urging me to do so. So he's dead already, huh? Okay. She didn't know him at all before I asked her about him. My heart is filled with doubts and confusion. Aren't we all filled with doubt and confusion? Uh, you ask the wrong person. Will you please help? You said your deceased master gives you messages, so I thought you can tell me which path I should walk by, just uh, uh, walk by just looking at his photo. Uh, uh, okay, so this is Peter. Uh, are you sure that uh, the spelling is correct? Dunov? It is. Okay. Uh, does anyone of you out there know of this uh, uh, guru, this uh, Christian teacher? No? No one knows? Oh, this is a European thing and Korean thing? He doesn't have a chance in Korea at all, uh, in the in, uh, U.S. In, in, uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, at all, huh? Okay. Uh, so, look at him. Wait a minute. Jesus Christ. I didn't ask for Jesus Christ. You're looking at, at Peter Dunoff. That's it? Only one set and one photo? Last light has Wikipedia. Let's see. And no photos? How am I supposed to know if you only give me one photo? Is this Photoshop photo or not? Okay, go ahead, say something. Couldn't hear you. Six. That was the photo she linked in an email when she asked you the question. Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, my first reaction when I looked at his photo uh, is he reminds me of someone. Okay. Uh, don't you think, huh? Look at him. You see the similarity? Could this be an incarnation of sweet Jesus? What do you think? No? Anyone? It just seems like after the Chan sit, everyone is such, is still in Samadhi. No one's moving, no one's reacting. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Of course, it's unfair because this is only a representation of Jesus but you can recognize this type of image from Jesus, right? And this is what I saw. I consistently saw this is kind of up, uh, drawings or rep representation of Jesus out there, okay. whether it's our, in our church or, uh, or other churches or online information, okay? Uh, so, uh, but uh, this is what these people remember Jesus as, okay? And I tend to uh, believe that these representations are actually uh, pretty, pretty uh, uh, authentic, pretty close to the, the thing, okay? So look at this gentleman, okay? He's, he's uh, first of all, I think he's pretty handsome. 
Okay? And, uh, and he looks, does look like Jesus to me. Okay? So he must be authentic. How is that? Does it help? CNN, what do you think? Hello. Okay. Go ahead. Speak. One second, please. We seem to have these echo problems. Huh? The comp Hello? is not right. Okay, go ahead. Uh, first of all, first first of all, the person who asked question is right here. Hello, Master. Hello. Hello, Master. Thank you for uh, answering my um, <laughs> questions. But, uh, okay, I, I, yeah, I now understand you think he is an authentic teacher. And what about uh, the past uh, life uh, readers of comments about my is it uh, reliable because I yeah, I made a secret uh, promise and I feel very guilty about not uh, fulfilling my promise so okay but I okay that's fine but CNN what do you think I'm just curious to what CNN's thinking here the Koreans, with, what with, do they think? With the photo? That photo? Uh, Have you been meditating? Me? No? Uh, not much. <laughs> no problem with the COVID-19? Uh, no, not yet. You don't meditate, you have no problem with COVID-19? Uh, I, I, maybe I meditated. I do you, do you, you hide in the temple and you don't go out at all? Is that I why you do. don't get sick? I mean, when you go out, chances are that you're going to get infected. Just like. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you don't mm. meditate, but you don't get sick. Okay, so what do you think of this uh, spiritual teacher that our visitor is impressed with? Well, semi-impressed, because she seems to be impressed and she has reservations. I don't, I don't feel any strong impression from the photo. You don't have a strong impression? Not much. Okay, so, anyone, uh, anyone disagree with Sienna and have a strong impression of the photo? Hmm? Francis, are you impressed? Francis says he looks like a writer to her. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, number two. Master, he looks like a Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas? <laughs> that too, that too. <laughs> Pretty sure it's uh, one of Sarah's uh, favorite actors. <laughs> okay. Well, I did look at the, at the Google thing and I saw a bunch of his images. So it's, I saw more than this photo here. And and um, and uh, uh, at at the risk of uh, saying something uh, that might offend people, uh, typically I don't answer these types of questions. I don't make comments about all the teachers. Could you go back to the email, please? Okay. 
uh, uh, but uh, the problem is that uh, a lot of people out there uh, are uh, confused about this uh, the spiritual uh, uh, things, aspects of life. It's because there's so many spiritual teachers, okay, and uh, they cannot tell one from the other. Okay, so it's understandable. I feel for them because. Uh, as you, uh, I'm impressed that eventually uh, those of you, you will uh, have to turn to, to spiritual aspects of life, okay? Because uh, the intellectual part, the physical part, emotional part uh, is not enough, okay? There's still something missing unless you turn to spirituality. So that's why uh, since uh, uh, there's civilization, there's always been uh, spiritual teachers, whether it's Muhammad, Jesus, and so forth. Okay? So it's uh, part of our civilization. It's part of our, because uh, we human beings uh, need to turn to spirituality for answers to our questions in life. All right? Uh, as you get older, you see that there are a lot of questions that have been accruing. They don't get answered. And the more you look, the, the, uh, the, the, you, 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 it doesn't help. You're not looking for, you cannot find answers. And sometimes when people turn to spiritual teachers, they found some of the, the, uh, the, the answers. So that's why people turn to spirituality. Uh, the spiritual aspect of life give you peace of mind that you cannot have from other things. You may be bright, you may be smart, you may be very successful, but you cannot find peace of mind unless you turn to spirituality. Am I wrong? You agree with me or not? Okay? Uh, that's why at some point in, 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 in during the day, uh, we encourage, strongly encourage you to meditate. Okay? So you turn back to your spiritual self so that you can calm down. Okay, and you re restore balance to your life. All right, uh, this is what we Buddhists do. We meditate in order to go back to our spiritual life, our spiritual self. Okay, uh, which we ignore, which which worldly people neglect. And they pay a very heavy price for it. I just talked to you about those CEOs, those successful people. Those are, those are our leaders. And yet they don't know how to solve a simple question like COVID-19. Okay? They send billions and trillions of dollars. They're not getting anywhere. They're not. They don't really find a solution for it. They only came up with Band-Aids. Okay? And they're ill-prepared for the worst pandemics, okay? So it's something we should all be worried about, okay? Uh, so uh, it's because people eventually have to f be faced with the fact that we need spirituality in our lives, okay? And Chan is one of the most important uh, way to fine-tune your spiritual self. All right? Uh, so it's not, it's not surprising that many, many people, the more people, uh, more and more people, especially when you get older, when you have some, some uh, heartaches, serious heartaches, okay, you will look to spiritual, uh, your spiritual aspects. You have, your spiritual needs are overwhelming for you. Okay? So, uh, so this lady here visited the, uh, the Konk Meditation Center uh, and looking for spiritual teacher, okay, and confused about this uh, Christian spiritual teacher and the Chan teaching. So he's Christian, huh? Okay, very good. Is she uh, Catholic or Christian?
Do we know? Chu Yun Li, is she Christian or Catholic? Hello. Yes. Sorry, it's echo. It, her, she is Catholic. She's Catholic. But what is she doing with a Christian spiritual teacher? Isn't there some kind of competition between Christian and Catholic? It's okay in the sound, they have a problem over there. Uh, text us or give a sign language or something. Hello again. Okay, hold on. Uh, 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 here. Tuyan. Hi. Uh, uh, yes. Actually, there's the competition uh, between Catholicism and Christianity, but uh, this is my private uh, 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 mission sort of thing. And I, uh, because I found uh, the, the Catholicism is very limiting in terms with uh, the issues like reincarnation and uh, past lives. Past yeah. lives. And this, uh, base, I do know, the, the, the esoteric Christian teacher uh, really uh, uh, told about past lives and other universes and uh, cosmic realities, which cannot be uh, adequately uh, explained. Uh, explained in Catholicism at all. We are not uh, uh, allowed to uh, believe or be questioning uh, such as facts. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Okay, understood. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with that. I'm learning too, so please forgive my curiosity. Uh, I don't know much about Christianity nor Catholicism. Uh, only what I know is, uh, is uh, taught to me by uh, a certain uh, boy named Daniel, which I, you know, I discount 80% of what he says anyway. <laughs> okay, uh, but, um, but uh, so it's, uh, go back to the uh, email thing there, please. So, uh, so, so that's what, exactly what happens. Uh, you cannot, you cannot confine people. People have needs, and and there's no point in trying to confine or confine people's thinking to whatever you want them to believe. Okay. Uh, so uh, the uh, so. And this is a Catholic lady, but uh, but she uh, she has some questions, and uh, she looked for she's looking for answers whether uh, wherever it comes from, and she turned to this esoteric Christian spiritual teachers, okay, because it it he talks about the things she was interested in knowing, okay, uh, but 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 uh, but uh, being North Korean. She's always very skeptical. She said, is it a true teacher? Is what he's saying is for real? Okay, right? South Koreans are a lot more uh, gullible. So what I understand, yes? Okay, and, but uh, so, so she made a secret vow to publish his book, uh, but, uh, uh, but I have some reservations. And then, and then typical as well, uh, of many of you, and I have met many of you who asked me about uh, to do readings uh, for, for them as well, uh, past lives and futures and so forth. Uh, and, and so she went and consulted with a renowned, uh, uh, what do you call it in the US, such people? Huh? What do you call them? Fortune teller, that's for the future, yes? And the past is what we call them. Hmm? What? 
what happened to Master Xianche. What do you call people here in this country? Fortune tellers, medium. Huh? Uh, people who tell you about all oh, the Caucasian. Yeah, sure. They don't. They don't. No, they don't look to. They are not curious about the past lives. Yeah, medium maybe. Maybe medium. Medium. Uh, medium, yeah, that's correct. The, the crystal ball where they read, you know, what happened in the past. Yeah? Okay. Uh, okay, so she went to consult with a uh, medium. Thank you. Uh, uh, and the medium told uh, her that it is her duty to publish his work and spread. Uh, and then it's, uh, uh, and that, uh, that his spirit, and actually urging him or her to do it. That's why she felt the urge, okay? So uh, he's dead already, huh? Okay. Um, so anyway, so he asked, uh, and she has doubts and confusion. Oh, and that's typical, okay? This is, uh, this is uh, typical of uh, many people who, 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 are, who, who, have, uh, who, who are seeking. Uh, you believe, but then you're not sure you're doing the right thing. Mm. And somehow someone told her that my, my dead master uh, talks to me. Uh, no, he doesn't have time to talk to me, so don't believe that, okay? Uh, uh, he says uh, he, he's too busy to waste time on me, okay? And so, yes, he talked to me a few times. That's about it. Uh, 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 after he died, that is. Uh, and I thought you can tell me faster what we're looking at his photo. Okay. Okay. Uh, now that you have plenty of time to look at this photo, does anyone, would anyone be willing to tell me his or her impression of him? There's one thing that stands out besides his, uh, he looks like Michael Douglas or Jesus. Okay. Anyone has any input? I'm curious about you, okay? What do you read from this guy? Huh? Anyone? Okay, let me throw this at you. When I look at him, first impression is impressive. He has this aura, yes? This presence. Agree or disagree? And many of you are not impressed. I understand that. But he exudes his aura of self-confidence. Yes? And that's the image he's projecting. However, behind the image he's projecting, what's it? I'm teaching you how to read people, how to look at photos. Okay? Behind this aura image he's projecting, what is it? What is the core of this aura? Can I try this at you? Okay. How about anger? He has anger built in. He has a lot of anger. If you do not, if he does not have his way, he will probably lose his temper, like I do. It takes one to recognize one. Okay? I can tell because I'm a very angry person, too. Okay? If he does not get his way, he will get angry. Anyone please disagree with me so that we can talk this over and still remain friends.
Xiao Qing, you agree or disagree? Hmm? Took a five <laughs> minutes. Five minutes to think about it. Let me think about it. I agree. <laughs> Very original. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm teaching you. Okay. This I look at people differently. This person here. Okay. On has his this persona. But however, I don't look at the persona. I look at the core of the person. And this core person has, still has a lot of anger, meaning that he must have his way in particular because he's famous, he's powerful, and therefore he's used to getting his way. Okay? And when he doesn't get his way, he gets angry. Number one. Okay? Number two. Okay? Uh, uh, I discourage all of you to go and see medium or fortune tellers. Maybe fortune tellers, but not medium. Okay? All right. Why is that? Uh, fortune tellers are good because if they write, we could strike it rich. Okay? Uh, or become successful. So we have to give them credit for that. You never know. It's like buying a lottery ticket. Yes? You have to buy a lottery ticket before you have a chance to get rich. Okay? So I'm for fortune tellers in general. But I'm not for mediums. Okay? Uh, it's because... Now, this dearly have nothing to do with the past, okay? Don't worry so much about the past because uh, my point, my main concern for you is that uh, this lady here is looking for a spiritual teacher, meaning she's looking for a person who has wisdom, yes? Okay. Uh, there's a Buddhist wisdom where... Uh, uh, where the low-level people cannot recognize the high-level people. Okay? That's the Chinese wisdom I learned from my Chinese uh, teacher. He says that if your level, your samadhi level, is lower, you cannot recognize someone higher than you. Okay? It's like someone who's dumb cannot recognize someone who's smarter because a smarter person can disguise themselves. A dumb person cannot tell the difference. Okay? So, uh, so what happened is that mediums on such people, okay, uh, they are not, they don't have wisdom because if they do, they would not be doing medium work. They would not be doing fortune telling at all okay uh, uh, the f uh, because uh, uh, it's not a good thing to do okay you're revealing the secrets of the universe and then and when you don't know because of the pressure from the client who's paying you you will end up saying things that are nonsense okay so but in general you're looking for and this is not the first time. I have many people who I have a, a loser disciple who went to look uh, look for uh, uh, listen to a some kind of medium uh, to ask uh, that medium about me. Okay, and so so it's the same same thing, similar thing. Uh, you people out there uh, go to these uh, well known uh, you know uh, readers, medium tarot readers. Uh, uh, fortune tellers and so forth, okay, and asking for about other people, it's not it's not very productive because 
These people really have no wisdom. They cannot recognize wisdom. Remember, people with wisdom would never do this type of work. Okay? And wise people don't do this. Okay? Hmm. Um, the wise people don't make money of their ability to see from the past or look into the future. Okay? If you have wisdom, you would not do that. Okay, so, so why would you look for these people? And, and uh, if you want to have fun and, uh, and uh, curious about your neighbors, I have no problems. But you, you, you are, you're looking for answers for yourself. You will not. It's the wrong place to go. Okay? So I discourage you uh, to go see these mediums and to see these uh, you know, such people for answers. Okay? They don't know what they're talking about and they are most likely mis to mislead you, okay? Again, the principle in Buddhism is that wise people would not be doing this. People who have real wisdom would not touch this kind of work, number one. Number two, uh, even if uh, they, uh, they have some knowledge, they can see certain things from the past or the future and so forth, okay? Uh, they cannot recognize people because of the different levels, okay? Low levels people cannot recognize high level people, period, okay? So uh, if this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, gentleman is, uh, is uh, enlightened or has wisdom, certainly the medium would not be able to recognize that person, okay? So you sh should not... You should not take the medium's words seriously at all, okay? So ignore that, okay? He said, and that's why the medium gave her nonsense. He says his spirit is urging her to do it. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's nonsense, uh, okay? Uh, it's, about, it's about what is her hope. Her hope, it seems to me, is to try to make this, uh, this uh, his wisdom, and uh, Mr., uh, what's his name again? Uh, Mr. Dunoff, wisdom available to the Koreans. So let's talk about that. So far, so good? Talk about that. Okay. Uh, if, he is a, if he is a sage, absolutely, go for it. Okay? Because uh, if you're able to translate sagely teachings into your own language, okay? It is tremendously beneficial for uh, the country. Yes? Okay. So, uh, however, if uh, you translate garbage or nonsense teachings, okay, you simply are adding to the confusion, okay? So that's why the instincts are pretty good. You say, I'd like to. Someone tells me I have this urge to do it, but I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not, okay? So this lady here, although she's Catholic or Christian or so forth, but she has, you know, she has her own mind, okay? Uh, she, she listens to you, but she makes her own mind, okay? Now, uh, I feel that, okay, I will share with her the Buddhist wisdom. If you still have anger, okay, you have no wisdom. You cannot overcome your anger. You cannot be trusted. So, my take is that this gentleman has a lot of Anger, disguised anger that people cannot see because his persona, public persona, can, he cannot reveal his anger, okay? But he's, he's used to getting his ways, meaning that he does not get his way, he'll get very angry, okay? He's a man of power, she has followers, okay? As such, because of that, okay? Uh, uh, and, and, and any of you can see his anger now or not? Anyone?
Wow, you can see it now. Okay, kudos to you. Yes, number four. Uh, Master, I was going to say if, if let's say I was driving and this guy uh, was approaching my car, I would make sure my doors were locked. <laughs> Good Lord, you're extreme. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, no, he's 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 a good man. You know, he's a he's a good he's a teacher, but he's a he's a spiritual teacher. So he does a lot of good. He helps a lot of people. However, uh, for for us, we look for high level wisdom than just helping people. Of course, you can help. Like you can help someone cross the street. Okay, that's helping too. Okay, mm, but uh, but he uh, but. But he he still has uh, too much anger to to uh, to be able to uh, guide you to the proper direction and help solve your problems. So therefore, in summary, I would not uh, I would not uh, if I were me it were me I would not uh, uh, publish his books at all. Okay, because uh, because it's um, not helpful. Okay, she's being Catholic. I would rather I would ra I would recommend she uh, she uh, she uh, does something to encourage people her, her Catholics to uh, turn to Mother Mary for example when they are in trouble pray to Mother Mary okay and they will get help good help from Mother Mary okay that uh, the Catholics should know okay do something about that, spend money to promote that or whatever. Or uh, they have wise people in Catholicism, like the late Pope John Paul II. Okay? He's a very wise person. Okay? Um, most of his teachings can be followed, can be trusted. Okay? So they have wise people there already. Why would they look at this, this guy here okay? who is really uh, don't have any real wisdom? To me, okay. In contrast, you know, uh, 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 the 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 uh, they should look at they should look at uh, at uh, at. Uh, you know, so I recommend two things for the Christians: if they're in trouble, they need help, pray to Mother Mary. Okay, that should be promoted. Number two, if they're looking for some guidance on how to conduct their lives as a Catholic or plan for the Catholic future, whether it's the Pope or the Cardinals or bishops, you should look to what the late John Paul II taught. And that's a very good direction they should be following. Okay? And that's extremely beneficial because John Paul II impresses me. He has wisdom. He's a good man. Okay? It's very rare for them to appear uh, to come and help, so take advantage of it. He's real, okay? And you look at his work. All you have to do is promote his work. Look at what he did when he became a pope. He did a lot of revolutionary things, okay, to fix the problems in, in Catholicism. So, you know, he, for example, uh, uh, one thing that impressed me is that he built his own training center for the future fathers, future priests, okay? Those are his hand-chosen students, okay? Go and support those people. Promote those programs, okay? Support those programs. To me, it's very productive work. It's very beneficial work for Catholicism, okay? Uh, don't look outside. Look to, you know, for example, Mr. Peter Dunoff. It's uh, not... It's not a good investment of the time and of money at all. Okay? Uh, you have in your own backyard uh, very, very impressive people like Mother Mary, like uh, John Paul II. Okay? Uh, if you, uh, you want to stick to that, go back to that and learn from the, those, those teachings. Okay? Um, Mother Mary doesn't teach anything but learn from John Paul II. He taught he, he, he taught a lot of good stuff. Learn from that, okay? He can be trusted. He has wisdom. From Buddhist perspective, he has Buddhist wisdom as well. Wisdom is not restricted to Buddhists alone. 
Although we like, most monks and nuns like you to think that. I don't think so. Buddhist wisdom is also, in, Buddh in, in Catholicism, could be all over the world, okay? In Confucianism, in Taoism, and all those places, okay? We don't have exclusive rights to wisdom. Wisdom is for everyone. You meditate, you open your wisdom. Matter who, doesn't matter who you are, okay? Uh, so it's an equal opportunity for all of us. We meditate and we become enlightened, and that's how we have wisdom. By the way, in Buddhism, wisdom is from being enlightened. If you're not enlightened, you don't have wisdom, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, so again, I stress to this young lady here, she's looking because she has some needs, and I encourage her to go back to her Catholic roots, Catholic really good spiritual teachers like John Paul II. He can be trusted. I would trust him. Okay, and follow him, follow his teachings. And, and when you're in big trouble, don't pray to John Paul II. And that's I'm warning you. You can learn from him what he does, but you need help, pray to Mother Mary. It's much better. Okay, and it works for you Catholics as well. Just in case you happen to think of Mother Mary, pray to her. It works too for us as well. Okay? Mother Mary does not discriminate whether you're Catholic or you're Buddhist. Mother Mary says, you pray to me? Really? Okay, I help you. She has a good heart. So in general, those are the two Catholic uh, personalities I really admire, I really like. Okay? Use them. Any other questions? Does she still have any questions? Yeah? Hello? Yeah, we, Hello? Can, yeah, we can hear you. Hi. <laughs> so she, uh, she also has this question. She, when she first came... She can speak English. How come you're oh. speaking for her? Her English is perfect. Okay, then go ahead. Oh, uh, well, I'll just thank try you. To, uh, uh, talk about and I, I, uh, you know, it's very funny. Uh, I came to this meditation center because I, uh, I, although I don't understand any meaning or any word, um, uh, I just uh, feel very attracted to uh, diamond strap. Vajra Sutra. Yeah, uh, and I don't have any background uh, knowledge about Buddhism at all. But I, uh, whenever I uh, listen to uh, the recitation of the the Basra Sutra, I feel very uh, uh, not not exactly blissful. Uh, very liberate, uh, liberated, liberating uh, the 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 stra. And I, I also, I, I really wanted to uh, play the wooden fish. So <laughs> I just uh, came here uh, whether I could uh, buy some wooden fish uh, to play at my home. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I didn't know whether it is very uh, impious thing uh, to do for uh, a, a person, a lay person, uh, especially I'm um, from different religion, and I, I yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I just came here to uh, ask those questions. Uh, that those are truly irrelevant, doubly, triply. Uh, sorry. And uh, additionally, she does really good job with all fish. We're very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> the Korean woodfish or the Chinese woodfish? Our old fish. We were very impressed about her performance. So wait, wait, wait. Is she North Korean or Chinese? She's a local. She's a local Bundang, Bundang local. lady. Yeah, I'm local. <laughs> she lives uh, right here around the corner. Uh, just across the street, literally. She's been yeah. coming every day, and, and she and uh, um, and is there a question at all in this uh, mess? <laughs> 
Oh, uh, additionally, she loves to recite the great compassion mantra too. <clears throat> So to this point, is she uh, does she consider yourself herself to be Catholic, Christian, or Buddhist? Uh, is there any such notion like uh, Christian Buddhist? Is it acceptable in your temple, Christian Buddhist? <laughs> well, you come to the right place. We desperate. We accept anyone. <laughs> Okay, look at Sienna and you think like she's normal? She's very desperate. <laughs> All right, so is it okay to be Christian Buddhist? No, it isn't. <laughs> uh, why? Because you confuse you both Christian and Buddhist. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. So, but, uh, uh, but uh, uh, all of you, it's an interesting point she made. Okay. Uh, why did you enjoy hitting the woodfish? Okay. I don't know, and I need to warn all of you, I do not know, I cannot read the past. I do not know the past, okay? Uh, maybe one of the reasons is that my past is very ugly. If I know your past, I know my past as well. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a good thing for me to know my past. Mm. Uh, so, uh, so, but, uh, the fact that she enjoys hitting the woodfish, I'll tell you why. That we also have a person here in Wei Mountain Temple who uh, would wait until we go to lunch. And they would hit my very expensive woodfish. Boom, boom, boom. I could hear her, okay, by herself, okay? And, and, uh, 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 and boys and girls, you know why she likes doing that? Does anyone know? Besides, she's a little bit, you know. And lunch time for me is eating and, and enjoying food. Uh, I would not be hitting, will you not find me hitting, uh, hitting the woodfish during lunch? Yes, number one. Master, is it because when doing that, she enters samadhi? That's correct. You know, necessarily enter samadhi. This girl can never enter samadhi. Okay, it's my humble opinion. It's impossible. She's a spy. Spies cannot enter samadhis. Okay. Now, uh, uh, she's not even spy number one. Spy number one is pretty good. Spy number two has no samadhi. It's my humble opinion. Okay. When you hit the woodfish, okay. Uh, that wood fish there is designed, by the way, uh, that wood fish there is designed uh, to help you enter samadhi, to help you concentrate. And spine number two tends to be scattered. She has a lot of thoughts, okay? She worries. Can you tell from looking at her? She has a lot of worries, okay? So hitting the wood fish, helps her concentrate on the hitting, and she does pretty good. She's very steady. So the mere, the physical part of hitting the woodfish actually f puts you, puts your mind in a state of concentration to keep it steady, okay? So it's very clever thing. Uh, you need, when you hit the woodfish, it requires you to concentrate in order to keep the pace, keep the rhythm, keep the beat. So that's why right there, is a, uh, a uh, conducive, very conducive to your concentration, your entering samadhi, that's correct, okay? Mm. And in, on the other hand, this is why in Chinese temples, uh, the second person in the assembly, okay, very important, besides the, the chanter, the wayno, is a woodfish, okay? 
the yue zhong, meaning that uh, the hitting the wood fish would make the assembly happy. And that's the secret I just found out today, okay? Discovered. Yue zhong meaning yue is joy. Zhong is that you give joy to the assembly. Isn't it cool? The Chinese are so clever. They have all these secret messages that we just discovered. Okay, the woodfish is wayno. I don't. I, the, the person, the the the, the main singer is wayno. I don't know what it means yet. But today, I just found. I just realized Yue Zhong is by that name is that you giving joy to the assembly. What kind of joy? Yue there is the bliss. You hit the woodfish, and people sit standing there, sitting there, listening to it, following the beat, who enter samadhi themselves. Yeah, cool. The Chinese are. S- so profound. They're, they have secret things that, just like my master, I discovered. And my master, I wonder, for example, by the way, this is a digression. For many years, I wondered, why is it my master never taught his disciples the certain teaching? It baffled me. For example, we've been discussing the Six Patriarch Sutra, and Six Patriarch Sutra is totally certain teaching. And why did he never really teach them or explain that sutra from that perspective. Hmm? It's interesting. Did Master Shenhua overlook something? It's because the people who listen there cannot understand it. He would not waste time. You have to understand. If you come to those, those assemblies, the teacher will have to look at you and talk accordingly to your level. You understand? Okay. So, so anyway, how did I get into that? Never mind. I digress a lot. You know, I confused. Yeah. So this Yue Chung here, Yue Chung here, that name right there tells you that this wish fish person is supposed to keep the beat in order to give bliss to the assembly. It's the first time I explained to you, I don't think the Chinese know that anymore. Okay? So that's why it's called Yue Zhong, because you, your job is to make the assembly happy by keeping the beat. And therefore, this person is very important in our ceremonies, boys and girls, because this person's samadhi must be pretty strong in order to give it to all the one in the assembly, meaning they have to be higher. You understand now? That's why those two positions behind me, this, this wood fish right there, is pretty important. And you need to have samadhi before you, know, you are allowed to hit the big wood fish. Not just anyone can hit it. Because if you are not in the state of concentration, you will cause problems for the assembly. Anyway, it's a Chinese thing. And now we made it American. Huh? Because the Chinese don't get it anymore. We explain it to you. Huh? Okay, now it's up to the Chinese monks and nuns to uh, uh, chastise me and say, you... Little Vietnamese guy, what do you know? Stop talking about our Chinese proud heritage. Huh? Okay, so that's point number one. Very good. So this lady here enjoys hitting the woodfish because it helps her concentrate. When she concentrates, she feels better. Okay, number one. Number two, what about this Diamond Sutra? Okay, clearly she's been reading the wrong translations. Do, can we agree on that? Huh? The real Buddhists would not call it diamond. Okay? Because it's not diamond. Good Lord. Vajra is not diamond, hey lady. Okay? The Buddhists, the true Buddhists, 
would not dare call this diamond because diamond is destructible. Diamond, you can crush it. You can grind it down and turn it into a beautiful, beautiful engagement ring. Okay? But Vashra, you cannot grind Vashra. You cannot destroy Vashra. Okay? So, uh, so that's why you can tell very quickly whether a translator is a good one or not. Any translator who uses the word diamond for jin gang, okay, is not, does not understand Buddhism at all. Okay? Toss that translation out. Throw it out. Don't even read that. Good Lord. Okay? Uh, don't even stop reading that sutra. However, even with the deluded translation, she enjoys it because Vajra Sutra is very powerful. Not just her, but many externalists like her. Okay? Really like to read the Vajra Sutra. In fact, you Chinese people, if you 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 are he have an edge over us, okay? Whatever we have right now in the U.S. is translated into English, into Vietnamese, and all those things, into French, and so forth. But you, Chinese people, can read it in the original text, okay? Translated by the sages. The Chinese translation from Sanskrit, okay, is actually was done by, by the enlightened Buddhist monks, so you read it in Chinese, which I encourage you to read, to do that. When you meditate or you're tired of meditating, you sit there for five hours, and, God, five hours, I'm going crazy. What am I going to do now? So to go over your six hour, you read the Vasha Sutra. That's meditation too. And what you do then, okay? See, our Chan is not confined to Om. Okay, our meditation is all over. Okay, it has many Dharma doors. Okay, so you can, you can read this Varsha Sutra. I really encourage you to do that when you read it. And in fact, you can also memorize some verses, especially the Catholic person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Memorize those verses. What are the verses? Some beautiful verses. Okay, I don't remember any of them. Yes, number one, memorize some of the verses. Master, there were two verses. Two verses? One okay. is... The true Buddhist, let me tell you, would memorize this. No, because I This is... Would you memorize these verses? You have incredible blessing. That's why number one memorizes it, because he's cheap. He's always looking to create more blessings for himself. Go ahead, number one. Um, there's one verse saying, if one sees me in form, if one seeks me in sounds, he practices a deviant way and cannot see the Tathagata. Very good. I remember, I remember that too, sort of. <laughs> Let me repeat. Okay. He has a Vietnamese accent. Okay. Uh, if you seek me in form, yes? If you... If you see me in form, if you seek me in sounds, then what? He practices the deviant way, a deviant way. He who seeks me in form, he who seeks me in sound, he practices the deviant way and cannot see the cannot tathakata. See the tathakata. Okay? Even if you Memorize that in English, okay? Yeah. That's all you have to do. Memorize that. And when you meditate, recite. Om, if he seeks me in form, if he seeks me in sound, and so forth, okay? Now you do that, okay? That generates tremendous blessings. Okay? Why is it important? One of the first things when you meditate is that when you're able to sit and cross your legs, you generate a lot of blessings. 
So you add on top of that, reciting this verse here, even more blessings on top of your meditation. Okay? So it's very, very useful. Okay? And not only that, blessings, but we also open up your, your uh, uh, Asian wisdom. Okay? To do that in your own language, in Korean, in Vietnamese, in uh, Chinese, in Tibetan, whatever. Do that, you will increase your wisdom. Okay? And you, even if you recite it like that, you can become enlightened, actually. Okay? Okay, number two verse. I don't remember. <laughs> he forgot number two already. It's basically all Dharma are like illusion, bubble shadows, yeah. like uh, mm. like dream something. No, it cannot be basically. You have to mem uh, uh, recite it uh, word by word. Okay. Uh, I prefer, by the way, to recite it in Chinese because I don't like the English translation. Chinese is much more powerful to me than the English translation, unfortunately. But that's all we have, okay? I prefer to do, do it in Chinese, okay? There are, uh, for those of you who like the Vajra Sutra, you should go to that sutra and memorize. They have some, something like four verses. They're very, very powerful, okay? Uh, so, for example, if you're in pain, okay, your legs are hurting or you are, you know, confused, recite the verses. It will help clear your head. Okay? Uh, so, it's a tool you can use that, that uh, not during your meditation, but, for example, while walking, you can recite it as well. Okay? Mm. All right? Any... Any uh, thing? So we 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 commented on her hitting the woodfish, hurting hitting the the uh, Vasha, uh, you know, reciting the Vasha Sutra. So those are very very good. I strongly encourage you to read uh, and recite, and memorize the sutras in particular. Uh, the one thing there, if she's in, those of you who are interested, you should recite the Xinjing, Okay. The Heart Sutra, okay, uh, especially you Caucasians, English-speaking people, recite the English version, okay. I think we have, we explained about the Heart Sutra, right, in English years ago, okay, and then that version should be made available to, for them to, to recite and memorize and recite. It's pretty short. I high, highly recommend the Xinjing, the Heart Sutra as a recitation, okay? Uh, uh, but if, you, if those of you who can uh, uh, recite it in Chinese or in Korean or Vietnamese, where they usually are one-to-one -one translation, right? Okay? Uh, so uh, I would recommend you recite that as well, okay? Uh, okay, so either the Vasha Sutra, uh, I prefer to recite the entire sutra, uh, so I would recite uh, the uh, the uh, those things. And number three, for your rec uh, another recommendation that came from my late Chinese teacher, recite universal worthy ten uh, uh, the ten conducts that we have in the morning ceremony. Okay, that part. E so you, you, you recite, you don't have to recite the way I do, it's too adorned for you, okay? It's for professionals. <laughs> when you recite it, one, two, three, four, five, up to ten, that's, my master says, that's incredible blessings. So today I'm teaching you three things for your use, okay? Verses from the Vasha Sutra, okay, those verses, 
I highly recommend them. Something about seeking me in form and sound, I recommend that. I also recommend that, uh, that uh, they mention about bubbles, lightning flash, and so forth. That's the second verse. Those two verses are very, very popular. I highly recommend you memorize them and recite them, okay? Number two, recite the Heart Sutra. It's extremely beneficial, okay? And number three, recite uh, when you get bored, recite uh, the Ten Conducts of Universal Worthy. That's the basis of our Bodhisattva practice. Okay? Okay? And the mere fact that you recite those ten, the Ten Conducts, okay, and the ghosts and spirits in your house, listen to it, okay? They can become enlightened themselves when they cease harassing you. How is that? Okay, that's an encouragement for you. Okay, does it help? Okay, those are real benefits that these are, uh, I know I'm, I'm, I'm uh, say a lot of things in a casual way, but these are pretty, uh, pretty powerful things you can use during your meditation that would be tremendous, tremendously beneficial for you and for, uh, for, your house and for your office and so forth. Okay? Yeah. Any questions or comments? No more? Okay. Then we stop here today. Thank you all. Okay. See you next time.